I'm here we have a quick video to show you how to refill a HP 62 in cartridge. This is the colour one. The black is the same number but this one is the tricolour cartridge. So, And the same method will be exactly the same for the HP 62 XL except you put double the ink into the XL. So the XL we fill it with twice the amount of ink. And this one just gets the standard amount of ink, which I'll tell you all about in a second. And the first step is you get this priming tool with our kits and you clip it into the priming tool. And the reason we're doing this is it's best to fill it in this anyway, but also we're going to empty the cartridge. So this cartridge, you know, we know how much ink it takes, but we have no way of knowing how much ink is already left in it because when ink cartridges is empty, when they're tricolours, sometimes you might use more magenta than cyan or vice versa. So your cartridge will start printing badly because it's empty, but it may actually have quite a lot of cyan, magenta or even yellow left in it. So what I do is I empty it myself first so I know it is empty. Then I know exactly the volumes of ink it will take. So with the kit, you get one of these 2 mil syringes. You this part is just a little hole in the rubber so you push it in up there and we suck down now this one actually is absolutely empty so we don't have to worry about that so so we've got that there so now this cartridge takes three colors magenta which goes at the top cyan which goes at the right and yellow which goes on the left now I can't stress enough how important that the ink positions are correct because if it isn't it just will not work so it's magenta at the top cyan on the right yellow on the left so this one here that we have is the magenta so I've just taken this needle and this needle is about twice the length it really needs to be but we need it to be long so we can get the ink out of the bottle so what you want to do is you only want to go down about half ways down the sponge so i always put my finger like like so on the needle so i know exactly where it is so so you go in through just around where that six is just sometimes you know it's okay to feel around a little bit and just push straight down through the label it's just paper just a hard paper down to your finger and so what we do is then just keep the cartridge upright and just inject really steady. And when I've used about half of that ink, I always just take a second because we're giving those sponges a chance to soak up the ink. They're not like your normal everyday household sponge. These are really hard wearing. So it takes a little bit more sucking up to get them to take the ink. So again, nice, nice and steady. And when you're taking this, the syringe back out, again, just pull it really slow. You just don't want to move the, the sponge at all. So that's that color then. So that's the magenta I put in the top. So now I'm going to move on to the cyan. Oops. It can be a tiny bit messy. But I'll just get that out the dab up. So again, we're going with the cyan. We're going in on the right here, just again, just about halfway down the needle, and again, nice and steady, really, really slowly. And then when we get to about halfway, just stop for a second, you know, five, ten seconds, and we're giving the sponge every chance. And I can't stress enough, just take your time doing this. nice and steady just. right that's that one so the last color now we need to do is the yellow the yellow always is a lovely shade of yellow um so here we go we put this just over here on the right you might have to feel around a little bit yeah, there it is, the hole is, because these holes are already made under the labels for when they're filled in the HP factory. So they just cover it then with a label. So, again, just nice and steady. There's no rush whatsoever. 
gets about halfway. Take your time. And if you if you overfill the cartridge, all the cartridge inks, all the ink colours are gonna combine and then it just will not work right. It's gonna be it's gonna be terrible. So the way to avoid that is just to go nice and steady. So here we are now, we're just about done. There was a small bit of air in there, so I won't push in anymore because we don't want any air going into the cartridge. So again, we'll just take that out. So now we know that we have, we know that we got our cartridges filled and we know as well that it's not contaminated at all because no ink has come up here. Just a little bit where I got on it when I was putting the needles in. So what I do is I just wait, you know, 10 seconds or so, give it a chance to settle. And then we go back to this the, the syringe that we use at the start to make sure that the cartridge is empty, make sure that the, the syringe is closed. And we push it back into the bottom. And what we're doing here now is, our ink is probably halfway down the, the sponge. It may be working its way down. So we're gonna help it to get to the bottom. Now you could just leave it and hope it goes down but with this little clever tool this is what makes it basically you're doing it like a professional so we're just sucking down and if you can see i'm sucking a little bit of ink coming through and you know what just a tiny bit more and that is enough right so i will take that out so now your cartridge is what we call in the trade is primed and like anything else it's primed and ready to use so you can just see, look, you can see that it has dragged all three colours out. We know that our cartridge is, we know that our cartridge is nice and clean. And what we do now is we just do this quickly. We're just dabbing it. And if you can see, you've got yellow, red and blue. Yellow, red and blue. And I'll tell you now, that cartridge will work absolutely perfectly. Um, thank you very much. And all these videos are available at on obviously YouTube if you have a look at our channel there's various other videos to show you different types of HP and Canon cartridges and you can buy the case at 118inc.com thank you very much